Oh, now the people of Texas, the state of Texas, they do everything on a larger scale. Texas A and M to lure Jimbo Fisher from Florida State. They had a, they had Annie an up, and that's what they did. So in 2017, they signed him to a 10-year deal for 75 million dollars, pretty much guaranteed. Then after Jimbo Fisher had a big year in 2020, where he went nine and one to a bowl game. And there was rumblings about him taking the LSU job. He, uh, Texas A&M doubled down. Extending his deal to 2031 with $95 million in total guaranteed salary. So here we are in 2023 after 45 and 25 record. And Texas A&M wanting to no longer have anything to do with Jimbo Fisher. So here's the breakdown of his contract or what, what they own and when they got to pay him. Texas A&M has to write Jimbo Fisher two checks in the next four months. The first check will be for $19.3 million. The second check due within 120 days after his termination will be for $7.2 million. And then he will get installments, like eight installments of $7.2 million. The entire contract will be paid out by 2031. And I'm reading there's no offset language in the contract. So he can go to another school next week, sign a new contract there, and still get his money from Texas A&M. This is a great contract by Jimbo Fisher and his representatives. So now you want to know who's paying for this? The boosters are not paying for this. The 12th Man Foundation will cut a check for $19.3 million and Texas A&M, the school, will pay the annual installments of $7.2 million a year until 2031. The athletic department at Texas A&M took in $193 million over the last 12 months. So they're flush with cash. This is easy for them to pay the 7.2 million in installments. It's not gonna hurt them at all. Look, I'll holler at you guys later. Leave a comment.